Welcome to the channel folks, my name's Shane. Odds are if you're looking at these guitars right here, you probably can't tell which one is which, but I'll make it easy for you. This one over here is my two-year-old Fender American Original 50s Telecaster. It's my favorite Telecaster that I've ever owned, up against the brand new Fender American Vintage 2 51 Tele. It's quite a mouthful of a name, that one, but it's a really beautiful guitar. And this is the latest incarnation of their classic butterscotch tally. Before we get into it, a huge thanks to Sky Music for the loan of this guitar right here. I don't get to keep it, nor are they paying me to make this video. All thoughts about how these compare will be my own. You can let me know in the comments whether or not you can see and hear a huge difference through YouTube. And I'm gonna give you my experience at the end and what I think about both of these and whether or not you should get the new one if you already have an American original 50s Telecaster. Hopefully I got all that right. Let's start with a jam track, and then we'll go over to some isolated tones. So there you have it, that's both guitars in the context of a mix. If you can hear a difference in the context of playing to a backing track, you've got far better ears than me. But to prove they sound pretty much identical, what we're gonna do now is have a listen to some isolated rhythm tones, some lead tones, and then we'll talk more about it in just a moment. Here we go.
right, when it came to the isolated tones, these pickups are basically identical. Some of those inflections on my playing, if I pick harder, may make one sound brighter than the other, but overall, they're so close, and if there is a difference, it's very minimal. All right, let's wrap this video up. So every time a new guitar comes out, your instinct is to go, man, it's gonna be so much better than what I already have. If you already have an American Original 50s Tally, this isn't an upgrade. There's a few things about it that I don't love, and I'll cover that in this video. But overall, it's a beautiful guitar. So if you're looking for a 51 Tally, this would be an absolute no-brainer, and it would be a great long-term guitar. But this is a comparison, so I'm gonna nitpick a little bit. So the brand new guitar is quite a bit heavier than my American Original. One of the reasons why I bought this was it didn't feel that heavy, which is more reminiscent of a custom shop guitar than this. This is really quite heavy even on my leg. I can feel the difference. So what if weight is a concern, then this guitar might not be the choice for you. But again, if you don't already have a Telecaster, it's not heavier than most tallies out there. It's just that mine's a little bit lighter. Additionally, the neck shape and the neck piece of wood looks far better on the American Original. Again, looking far more custom shop than the kind of bland neck we find on the new guitar. Now, it's not a bad neck, but it doesn't look anywhere near as nice as what they had on the American Original guitars. This very heavily reminds me of my 52 Telecaster that I purchased about 12 or so years ago. It's almost exactly the same guitar, minus the fact we don't get the vintage tint on the neck. But again, if you don't like fat necks, the brand new one will make a whole lot more sense over getting the American Original Tally. So confusing. <laughs> In conclusion, if you have any type of 50 style Telecaster, this isn't a huge upgrade, but if you're in the market for one, then this is a really great guitar. My little nitpicks are just what I think people will want to know. How they compare tone-wise, how they compare in terms of feel, neck shape, and just overall weight aspect, because basically these are identical guitars, minus the fact the neck shape and wood choice is slightly different. The only other major difference between these two Telecasters is the fretboard radius. My American Original has a 9.5 inch fretboard radius, whereas the new Vintage 2 Telecaster has a seven and a quarter inch, which a lot of people prefer and seem to think that feels easier to play. I think both these guitars play themselves. They're really easy to play. I have no complaints with either. It's something that I don't even think about. Thanks again for watching, folks. My name's Shane. You can nitpick as much as you want about micro specs, but at the end of the day, either of these two feel great in the hand, and I had no problems cutting the backing tracks for this particular video. If it was helpful, please leave a thumbs up. Again, a huge thanks to Sky Music for the loan of this beautiful guitar over here. I think, yeah, this one right here. <laughs> I'll catch you on the next video. See ya.